guys, welcome to July the 14th. It is Thursday, two days till my birthday, and two days till the scan. I'm so excited. So tomorrow I can actually say, I'm hopefully gonna see my baby's face tomorrow. <laughs> so this morning I've just got up and had a shower, hence the no makeup. Honestly, it's gonna be more like no makeup than makeup this whole week, because literally like when you're pregnant, it's just so tiring to put makeup on. I can't believe it. I've never thought I'd hear myself say that. But I know I also feel better when I've got it on. So it's like a real double-ended, what's it? Did I just say that? I don't know what I even meant by that. <laughs> We've basically got a skip that is full and today we are having it swapped. We are literally like the neighbours from hell. We, we always have a skip on the drive because <laughs> we've had so much to clear. Like we've got at like our garden, we had it like all stripped back and everything last year and then we never got a gardener. So it's gone to rack and ruin again. And now we've got a gardener that's doing it and hopefully that will maintain it afterwards. So he's working really hard, bless him, because he's only a 16 year old lad, but he's doing so well at clearing it all. So he, he's trying to do that, get it back up to scratch and then hopefully he'll maintain it. So we need another skip. Um, so that's coming, but like it said 10 till two, so I'm kind of restricted. So I've got to go and get the cash out now. And then I've got to go and pick up a dress I've ordered from Dorothy Perkins, which is a maternity dress. I just wanted a black maternity dress, um, just in case we have any occasions or whatever. And obviously to take to London with me, um, because I literally have nothing to wear. <laughs> so I've got to do that. I've also missed a package that I need to go and pick up from the post office. I can't remember. I'm sure there was something else I've got to do as well. I wanted to pop to B&M um, because I want some, like they do some rose gold baskets, I think. Um, and I want to go there because, like, we've got, like, loads of miscellaneous bits and bobs that don't have a home. But at least we can just shove it in the baskets. But I don't know whether they are, like, they've got a lining in them or they're just open. So, anyway, I'm boring myself now. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Poached eggs on toast for brunch. Oh, yeah. But I'm pretty sure I've overdone them. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's a good one. So the skip finally came. I am now at the post office to pick up my parcels. I always have a job with this because my, obviously my real name isn't Tilly. Um, but obviously everybody knows me as that and nobody ever, ever, ever called me by my real name. So, because I hate it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's like quite difficult because I get a lot of letters and stuff addressed to Tilly. But none of my like, ID is Tilly. So it's like, it's, I always have trouble. Um... So it's my own fault really, but uh, I should probably just change my name by deep on. <laughs> so I am picking this up, fingers crossed. I've got another one as well from absolutely ages ago, but I don't think it's actually for me. Um, I think it's for Ed. Um, but that's addressed to our business as well. And like, I haven't really got anything um, to prove that, you know, it's at that address. So I don't know why we've been sent it or what it is, but we will go in, see if they've still got it, but I doubt they have. So they let me have it, which was good. I've just constantly got hairs on my lip. Yeah, they let me have it. Didn't even ID me or anything, so that was really good. Nice and easy, just what I like. I'm going to pop you there because this is the package. And I think it's actually maybe my birthday present off my dad. Um, but I don't know. So let's have a little... Oh, this is a bag I like very much. I don't know whether I showed you the charm that my mum got me the other day. I think I did. Um, but that was this one. Because um, this this bracelet, I've got like all just all rose gold on. And then this one obviously is multicolours. So, oh, little box of dreams. Ah, oh, that is really pretty. There you go. Oh, that's gorgeous. So thanks, Dad, if you're watching this. Um, that is so pretty. Oh, I love it. So I've got one off my mum and dad next door to each other on my bracelet now. I can put that on. Oh, that's so nice. So I've just got to the shopping centre just to pick up my dress. And I could literally just hear like a tapping on the top of my car. And I was like, what the hell is that? And it's literally, it's stopped now. But it was literally like the world's biggest seagull. I saw it in the reflection of the car next to me. So if it happens again, I'll try and show you. But he's like around and about <laughs> mr seagull never returned guys i'm just in b&m now i just wanted to let you know just in case anyone's looking they've got um some acrylic storage in they've got that acrylic storage and they've also got like a stand one so in the 4.99 so just in case anyone wanted to know peppers what's mommy got for you Are you in the seat <gasps> what is it oh, oh. Ready. Okay. <laughs> 
So I'm back home now. I thought I would give you a quick little sneaky peek of the dress and this is like what I want to wear for my birthday. Depending on like where we go in London and stuff, obviously. Well, this is like the only dress that I've got, to be honest, so I will be wearing this. <laughs> but this was from Dorothy Perkins. It was in the sale from about 40 quid to 18, I think, which I thought was really good. It's just literally a little black dress. Um, so there you go. I mean, my hips are the annoying part because... I need to get like some maternity tights really to like suck that in but like I haven't I haven't got time now so I'm just gonna have to sort of walk with my arms there or my bag there just to hide that a bit. <laughs> this is it, it's just got like a little bow there, it's kind of like a wrap dress but it, it's so comfortable, it is just so comfy I just want to wear it all the time but I just I do need tights because sticky leg. I also got these shoes in the sale from Sainsbury's, these were £10. So, but they're a size 8 and my feet are starting to swell up quite a bit now. So, um, they're rubbing as well, which is a bit annoying. So, yeah, that's basically it. The outfit that I'm hoping to go for. And then, from the side, oh dear. So, I'm 28 weeks and 2 days today, which is crackers. Because a lot of people have, have kind of said, like, I'm quite big. Um, but then when I went to the hospital, there was ladies at about the same stage as me that were like bigger than me and there were some smaller than me. So obviously it just literally depends on, I suppose, how much fluid you carry and how big your baby is and your body size anyway. So, you know, I'm uh, I'm not like worried or anything. I think that's quite a bargain for 18 quid. It's about 10 o'clock now, which is why I am looking extremely worse for wear. But I've just had some Marmite on toast followed by... Nutella on toast because literally this whole pregnancy is sandwiches or anything on toast because that is just what I'm living right now. It's so bad. It's so good. Well, I've just tried to upload my vlog from Tuesday. I swear, like, this computer does not want me, or the internet, does not want me to upload vlogs no matter how hard I try. So I've just, like, uploaded it and now YouTube's saying that my flash player's out of date and blah, blah, blah. It's just so annoying. Nothing's ever straightforward, is it? So... Hopefully this will go up now. So we've just caught up on Big Brother and I have well and truly jumped on the bandwagon. Oh, you're not going to be very happy with me. I couldn't help it, okay? I, just, I couldn't help it. Everyone else had got it and I haven't got it and I felt left out. Pokemon Go. I just wanted to see what all the fuss is about. I'm not actually like a gamer or anything. I don't usually game or like do anything like that. I was obviously like addicted to The Sims when I was younger, <laughs> but I never have any like games or anything like that. It's just not my thing. But this just looks so cool. <laughs> and uh, I've been enjoying like seeing what people have been um, getting with it and stuff. So like, I don't know, I just, I just thought I'd uh, give it a go. Because I'm sad like that, you know. Not that I'm 26 on Saturday. So guys, I'm going to go now. I will catch you tomorrow for Friday. So I'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Good morning, guys. And welcome to Friday. It is the 15th of July, I can finally say. It's my birthday tomorrow. And we're having the scan tomorrow. I'm so excited. I can't wait for that. It's just going to be so nice. Hopefully she's in a good position. So I am, um, what am I doing today? I want to go and get my nails done. I've got a lot of housework to do as well, which I think I'm going to have to just do later. I was going to go and get my nails done now um, because I'm going for lunch with um, my mom and my uh, grandparents. So I was going to go and get my nails done now, but I've just had a text to say the nursery furniture's on the way. So I'm going to have to wait in for that now, which is obviously a good thing, but it's just like, you know, it's a bit like, when you've got plans and then it just knocks it all out. So I am just waiting for that and then, yeah, gonna go for lunch and then hopefully gonna get my nails done afterwards. Um, but I don't know whether I'm gonna have time because I've got a lot of um, housework to do. This one is very tired. The nursery furniture has come. God knows how we're gonna get that up the stairs. The delivery driver was not the best in the world, to be honest, he never even said hi or anything. And asking him to put it in here was just like, <laughs> The biggest biggest thing he's like ever been asked to do which is just like a bit annoying because it's like you are a delivery driver i'm not asking you to take it upstairs for me i can't lift it obviously 
So, never mind, it's here now, which is good. So I'm gonna head off for some lunch. Close the door, hang on. Hi guys, it's a lot lighter now, so it is about nine o'clock and I've got the oiliest nose on the planet. It's basically because, obviously, I'm using that foundation that is the, like, um, high street foundation. And I like, I like how it covers on the rest of my face, but the oil on my nose just, just doesn't work with it for some reason. It's just too much when, especially when I've been, like, using the higher end foundations and it does work. So it just shows you, sometimes you do get what you pay for. So I had a nice lunch earlier and then me and my little brother and sister were walking around on Pokemon Go and we caught a Weedle and we caught a Pidgey because, you know, that's what you do when you're near 26. So I am just going to watch Cory on my laptop because I don't watch Cory to be honest, and we haven't watched it since we came back off our honeymoon like two years ago. I don't know <coughs> why. I don't know why, but it's just like something we've never got back into since we came back. We still <coughs> like watching Emmerdale, but not watch that. I don't know what he's barking at. But obviously I know um, Kylie dies, so I thought it's quite a like <coughs> iconic episode, so I thought I'd better watch it. So I'm just going to watch that now and let's go out.